Welcome everyone to a brand new series I'm starring today and I just want to give a great shout out to all the people that voted into this year's uh well not this year's but this new Victoria 2 game I'm starting um I listened to all your comments and I, I guess I'll tell you some of the results so um the top two picks that you guys really wanted to see were were either a campaign with Texas or a campaign with Greece and a couple of you guys also wanted me to do a pop, do a mod, but um, at this time I'm not going to be taking mods because I think I want to go back to regular Victoria too. Um, I've been playing way too many mods, so you know, let's. I want to get back into the original, so um, yeah. So I'm basically going to decide I'm going to try to do a either Greek O campaign, and if that fails, then I'll go to a Texas campaign because God knows we need to make Texas's ego bigger, don't we? All right, so let's go to Greece. Okay, I'll get you guys on the main map. Uh, welcome back, guys. So, basically, we're on the battle maps, and for those of you guys who might be new to Victoria 2, well, this is Victoria 2, regular Victoria 2 with all its awesomeness, and frankly, unbalanced economy, budget, and units. But we love the game anyways. So, anyways, guys, we're going to be playing as Greece. A um, couple things to know, uh, we have no production. Uh, our budget is bad, so I'm probably gonna have to crank that up. Let's just crank it up. Um, Technology-wise, I'm gonna get what was it? Free trade, uh, pol political X X. I'm going to be trying to go for the uh, British faction because I want my uh, I want the outside world to build me up until I can actually do stuff. Uh, inactivate the vol until on. Which basically gives me a weighted government, and so now I have representation for all my people. Very good thing to have. Well, no it isn't. In Victoria 2, it's a very terrible thing to have weighted representation, but we had to do it because otherwise, we cannot get to the bigger and better events. Okay. Next thing to note, we're going to start encouraging craftsmen in our main area. Our main region, because we only have uh, one, two, I think only about three regions at most. Is that correct? Yeah, three regions at most. We're going to be encouraging. Uh, excuse me, people. We're going to be encouraging um, craftsmen in our main region because that's going to have to build up as quickly as possible so we can start doing stuff. Um, and economy wise, we're not going to probably be messing with that. Diplomacy wise, um, the best thing to do is probably get an alliance with the Great British because they already love you and they're, they're probably the easiest nation to do it, okay? Um, coming up with plans, let's see, do I have my plan set up? No, I don't have my plan set up. Well, <laughs> I had this whole entire plan set up before this. I actually, this is like the second time I'm recording this, because my first time, the footage got corrupted, or there was like a big gigantic blank spot in a, couple, in a lot of the videos, so I had to record this. So, if you're wondering why I'm speaking really fast, <laughs> oh, if I sound just slightly different, it's because this is like, either a way later recording than I first recorded the first one so um yeah I'm just trying to remember what I f what I remember what I'm bleh, what I did the first time what I did not do the second time so it means I might do a little bit more effective strategy the second time than I did the first time and yada 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 so on and so forth anyways now that we have a by the way does the Ottomans hate us no the Ottomans do not hate us hey would you like to be military buddies can I acquire a core? I'll, I'll go to war with you guys. Yeah. Let's see. Would the Great British join in? Oh wait, we haven't accepted. Okay. <laughs> That's just a side thing. But yeah, I think the quickest way you could probably get all your land back is you should probably form an alliance with either Austria. Um, Austria. Yeah, you guys hate us. Or Russia. They're probably the quickest. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Next time, form an alliance with Russia, because I think they're slightly bit helpful more in the beginning of the games. Because you need to get your land as quickly as possible to start expanding outwards. But anyway, since I can't actually do that, um, what I'm going to do is actually fabricate a claim onto Tunis. Because Tunis is just that kind of person. And honestly, we need to get a good economy built up, and we need to honestly get some people at the bottom of our economy list like we need some poor people to start paying for everything that sounds very very political right there but it's just the way the game works if you have lots of poor people you usually make a lot of money so that's what we need right now um so yeah we didn't take that much infamy for that that's pretty good that's pretty nice um our economy's gonna go to like 
uh, bad places for a very long time. In fact, I don't expect us to recover for a very long time. And basically what we're going to do in this war is absolutely nothing. Because we're just going to let the, uh, we're just going to let the, um, what are they called? The British come in and destroy whoever they are. And we're going to completely not tax the rich. The rich are not going to be taxed at all. And the aristocrats, again, none of them needs met because we have nothing in our country. And yeah, we're just going to let the British fight the war for us. And, you know, they might take a really long time, but they'll eventually come in and go send in troops to go defeat them. Because our troops at the beginning of this time are completely weak. I already know this, so I'm not even going to try to fight, to even try to fight the uh, Tunis troops. But, for right now, for right now, yes, there we go, okay. And the British should join in because they're the British and they want to be all Britishy. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, join in. Fight the war! Okay, the British are now in, and now we just wait for them to come in and go do their Britishy thing. It might take them an insanely long time to do, but they will eventually come in. It's just... Win, alright? While that is happening, um, we are encouraging no craftsmen to join the uh, center, so I'm just going to stop this right now, because it seems like it's doing nothing. And I'm going to start encouraging local tension inside the borders, because what we want to do, as I said before, is gain the rest of our core provinces, so then we could try to form the Byzantine Empire, which is ultimately our goal. But for right now, we're just going to wait until the British come in. Yeah. This is going to be an insanely long time, so I'm just going to chill back in my own little country and just relax while I'm gaining a good amount of moolah. I mean, we aren't gaining like insane amount of moolah, but we're gaining a good amount of moolah, which is what we kind of need. And let's see, how are we doing in terms of spewing up crises? Uh, let's see. It seems like it's going down pretty badly because of different things and different... Um, stuff like Great Wars, yeah, hmm, I probably won't be able to get the Crisis done for a very long time, so it's gonna take us a very, very long time to get this region, which kind of stinks, because I wish I could have this region right now, because that would seriously help us with a lot of our, our gains, and of course the British are blockading what they need to, now if only they could go send in their troops to go deal with these guys, that's all we're waiting for. That's literally everything we're waiting for. Because once we have that little part right here of Greece, then we could honestly start like pumping up a good economy and making everything right. We just need to first get that stupid first step in, which is to defeat the almighty uh, Tunisians. Which is strangely is something that is insanely hard. Okay, and we just got luxurious clothes, so our economy should also bounce back to even better production. I'm not going to go for lumber mills just yet, because it's not quite useful to us. Um, what I might go for is a steel factory, because if we could start producing steel at this point, that'd be really nice. Because, well, one of these provinces, I can't remember which one, has a lot of, has a lot of iron in it. And that's really good for production. Wait, which one was it? Oh. It's none of these provinces. What was I? Hmm. I don't know what I was quite thinking, guys. Oh, it was this one over here. Ah, I see. I was thinking ahead to when I was already the Byzantines. Okay. So that's the province I'm going to need to, like, go in and go conquer stuff, so. Oh, there we go. There it is. Haha. <laughs> see? I told you. Eventually they would come in and go to kick their butts. It just takes them a little bit of time. Okay. And now since they're over there, what I'm also going to do is, um, I could also expand a little bit into these guys and take at least some of their iron, could I? No, I'd have to go all the way over here, which actually would not be that good. Um, what we could try to do, though, is try to take this viable resource right here from the, uh, Moroccoians, just, like, steal it from all the way under them, though I have to take Tarza. I uh, know I do have a landing right there, so I could take it. Hmm. I'll think about that one. Yeah, because actually it wouldn't be that much infamy, because it's only like five infamy. Yeah, that's just a man concession, and yeah, we're just going to basically use the uh, Ottomans to be, uh, not the Ottomans, the, uh, because the Ottomans are the ones I'm going to declare war on. We're basically going to use the uh, British as our ultimate, uh, 
uh, go-to guys. When we need a war, they'll fight it for us. <laughs> when we need help, they'll give us money. When we need basically anything, the British are there. In fact, we are pro-British. We only got 1.8 infamy, that's really good. And the Morocco menace, they're coming for us, everyone knows no good Sunni, they're coming for us, I know those brothers, they know they know don't like the yabba there. Oh gosh, that, that voice gets really hard to do at some points. Okay, so, as soon as we're done with this war, which should be in a couple minutes, we should get a very big boost to our economy, which means then we can actually start supporting our troops, which is actually a good thing, because, okay, there we go, there we go, wahaha. Got a new population boost, and see? See what I mean? Okay, now we can actually start supporting our troops. Uh, educationalize. Um, we can also start putting some, a little bit of tariffs, okay? A little bit of tariffs, and it seems like we do still don't have no rich in our country, which is kind of stinking, but we do have lots of poor, which is good. So, we need more poor, though. So, what we need to do is go declare war on Morocco. So, Morocco demand concession of Tarza. Uh, British, still very likely to join. I love you, British. You guys are my favorite allies. So, yes, now we just have to wait for the British to go all the way over there to go conquer Tarza. They'll probably take another region for themselves, and the British will not let them conquer Gibraltar. I can only tell you that right off the bat, Morocco. You guys are going to get destroyed if you stay there. Like, the British do not like it when you, uh, take their land. So, uh, be, be prepared. Just I'm just telling you now, Morocco. Be prepared for when the British actually come. They have a good army already in my land, so... We know they're coming. We know they're coming. Yeah, you see? They're coming! <laughs> the British always come, no matter what you think. The British are coming. That's all I gotta say. The British are coming. Okay, so yeah, they're going to fight that war for us again. Um, um, now with the new patches, you cannot uh, fabricate claims anymore. So you can't just like get free reduction of infamy anymore so if we want to get a second region which I might get I'm gonna need to uh, just add it in the war goal which wouldn't be that bad I mean I think what I might do is steal let's see what I want any other region of this I might steal this region right here that way I just have a powerful like port region to you know eventually go attack them again okay okay good I'm glad you guys all understand my my f kind of war pattern here and so, it's also kind of good that they do... Oh, they did have troops in my land. And now there's troops over here. We got a steel factory now enabled. So that means people can now build steel in our uh, place. But I realized we don't have any steel. So that was kind of stupid of me. Uh, fertilizer factory would probably have been the better choice. But I wasn't really thinking about it. Okay, our army is just sitting here back in Athens. Just kind of chilling. Um, we're probably doing like parades and celebrations of the marvelous war that we're winning. <laughs> Oh gosh, we are, we, are, we are terrible allies, but you know what? The British don't realize that yet, and they, they love us, because we are the cradle of civilization. I mean, where do all the Western powers get most of their ideas from? They get it from us. So you know what? It's fine for them to work a little bit harder for us, because we are the original Western powers. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right now, people. I'm just kind of speaking fast and... Uh, thinking about all the- oh my goodness, that's a lot of ships! <laughs> oh gosh, this kind of makes me feel kind of bad, because I'm just like, wiping them out. <laughs> oh, and we have a good amount of production of money, which is really good. Um, they seem to have conquered enough, can I add a war goal? No. Dang it. I do have enough diplo power, so- Oh, not diplo power, gosh, that's EU4. I do have enough, um, diplomats to do stuff, and there we go! As I said before, the British probably took some stuff, I was not doubting it, um, because the British are just the British, and they like to take stuff. So, yeah, it's it's honestly, don't don't ever think of it as an insult to you, just kind of think of it as, that's just what the British will do. Um, I should gain a new, like, population boost, yeah, you see, I've already increased our population, like, tripled what it was, and all I've done was just <laughs> move our cat move some land over and gain some more land and I took this over here so I could gain the precious minerals deposits which we needed keep our economy going alright now that we're starting to tax a little bit higher we can kinda of decrease just a little bit of our taxes so now people are starting to become a little bit more happy with us um we now need to think of another war target what's another good war target 
Venezuela, no. Um, Zulu, Zulu wouldn't be bad. I just hope the British would not just let them. Well, let's see. They have anything good on them? Not really. So no, they would actually be a terrible war target. Now that I'm thinking about it, a good war target would probably be Johor. Just, just typical, just typical everyday stuff. Just go to war with Johor, and you usually have the funnest time ever. Um, and the British do have a ton of army over here, so we could also go to a war with Japan too. Just like steal some Japanese land to gain some more troop balance. Hmm, I'm liking this strategy already. I haven't even completed it. We also could gain the uh, Suez Canal. If we're going to do that, we should definitely gain the Suez Canal. Um, so Egypt is definitely now a target of mine. Hmm. Also expand. Yeah, I'm just going to do all my... T I'm going to do my usual, typical, typical Victoria 2 style conquest. Johor, you're next. Except I'm doing it, like, almost in the exact first years. Uh, and then once I think... I think once we have all this, we can start maybe producing our own army. I don't know. I think after this we should have a... What are you talking about? We're not trying to invade Jahor. We're just trying to be friendly. We're just giving them, you know, you know, some bu some baskets of bombs. You know, you know, the friendly thing we do in Greece. Oh, my Greek friend would be very mad if he knew I was doing a stereotypical accent of a Greek. Even though it wasn't really a stereotypical accent. Okay, we have a lot of people joining in on our side in terms of the uh, crisis, which I completely forgot about. Um, well, it's no, it's no wonder that that the uh, the British are going to join in on the Ottoman side. What? British, what are you doing? Wait, what? <laughs> the British are going to betray me? That's not cool. Oh shoot. Well, at least at least we got this. Okay, Spain, you love you love Russia. You love Russia. Do not choose and yes. Okay. Now, do not back down, guys. Whatever you do, do not Oh shoot, that means I'm going to be at war with the British. Okay. So, quick little, you know, problem. I'm going to be at war with the British. And I've just given them like two different territories right next to mine, so this might get kind of ugly. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. This might get really ugly here very soon, but at least the Austrians join in on my side. So, I, honestly, Germany should be crushed. It has three fronts it's going to have to deal with, so they're going to be crushed. That should give us lots of war score, and then they can instantly come back down here and go get my war goal. Which then will be nice, but the only thing is, is that I'll probably lose my alliance with the British. It kind of stinks because the British and me are cool tight friends. So yeah, and I don't think they're gonna back. None of them are gonna back down. Yeah, I'm at war with the British now. Wait, is there any? I yeah, I, I can't declare war on Johor unless unless that happens. So um, there's absolutely no point in continuing this war justification. What I should do though, since I'm probably gonna be at war with either the British, since I'm probably gonna be at war with the British and the Ottomans is probably fabricated claim onto one of their other lands. Um, let's see. I can instantly go to war for for um nothing at this point. That's kind of sad. But what we should probably do is probably fabricate claims onto some more Ottoman land. What we naturally have rights to are this. So I don't want to fabricate claims on any of this. What we should fabricate claims on is something like over here that's going to be um let's see where, where was the mineral deposits again right there what region is that it's two regions actually gosh dang it um we should probably get this lower serbian region right there um but i don't you don't want to expand too quickly and then just like die uh i don't know maybe in this war what we'll do is just we'll add more war goals uh Grant them full citizenship. I don't care. You guys can all have full citizenship. I'm playing the very. Also, I'm gonna be playing the very, very diplomatic game because I need as many, many um, people in my country as possible. So, yeah. But we're about to go to war with the Great British. 91, 93, 94. Wait, 95, 96. Doing also doing 97. Colonial policy debated. Do I really care? Uh, 
I need some I need some liberals though. Okay, there we go. Show wars. Us versus them. That's dang. We were so good friends too, Britain. Like we were such good friends. Well at least the the French should be able to protect my Tunisian colony, so that's good. They just won't be able to protect any of my other colonies, which kinda makes me think I should probably fabricate a claim onto uh Algeria. And do the British hate me? Nah, they still like me, so I'm gonna try to increase relationships as much as possible with them. Um, seriously though, these guys should be able to deal with everything. I don't think I have to do too much, you know, stuff. I'm just gonna be mainly trying to protect my land. Okay, and we got new stuff that we can build, um, commerce-wise, uh, military-wise, we should probably get military staff organization. Okay. We're just gonna sit here while the while the okay they were they were blockading me okay yes you may have military access to my land just destroy wherever you have to and the British are gonna be coming but I think for once I hope they don't come <laughs> I hope for once they don't come hope they just stay in their little social bubble and be like no we don't want to come okay and it seems like Russia is doing its Russia e thing and not you know actually fighting a war they're just letting the troops die come on guys seriously we need you guys to kick it in to get wow France really too how are you guys not destroying them this is Prussia I mean seriously it's like two of you guys you guys deployed yes you guys are deployed how is Prussia beating you oh gosh dang that's really sad okay are we being invaded by anyone yes we are okay the best thing to do in this situation is to just, you know, attack, and then retreat. Attack, and then retreat. Attack! Oh, shoot. Retreat! Retreat! Oh, shoot. That was bad. That was seriously bad. I should have just kept where I was, but I thought I could kill that troops off pretty quickly, but I couldn't. But the the Austrians are coming in pretty, pretty heavily, so I don't expect them to die. Um, and then once all these, like, little tiny states are done, like, fighting the mighty French. Oh, you don't hear that phrase much every day. But once the French are done destroying everything, we should be fine. In the, in the off chance I do lose this, we probably have to restart. But in the good chance I will win this, yeah, we're pretty much good. <laughs> I mean, it, it seems like we're going to win this. We just have to hope that France can get its stuff together and so can Spain. Like, why are you guys not grouping up all your armies into one gigantic unit to go help s Yeah, stop pushing the Prussians back! Like, seriously, you guys have more men than they do! By a lot! In fact, it's really quite sad that you guys aren't, like, destroying them! Okay, and there's all the- there's some men- okay, there comes the Russian- Oh, there's the Russian horde! They're, like, pushing down into, uh, magical friends of Austria, and let's see, who's ultimately winning this war? We are! Because we are being aggressive! Uh, yeah, you guys, you guys can have whatever- Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I just remembered something, that when you have lots of big allies, they usually don't like to stick up for the little man, so... What's most likely gonna happen in this war is that we aren't gonna gain anything, because they're probably gonna steal all my- They're probably just gonna, you know, have so much infamy for just getting all this stuff, that they're probably not gonna have enough to, uh, actually protect it. And Spain stuck 64 troops onto Gibraltar. Smart move, except for the fact that you really should go move in more troops over here, because Prussia is now starting to die really quickly, which is good. Um, they finally moved out of my land, which is good. We could actually start building more of an army, but I'm kind of just, let's just keep saving up, because this is actually pretty good. In fact, do we have access to railroads yet? No, we don't. But yeah, this is actually pretty good, because if we have lots of money, this is going to be pretty nice. So yeah, the Ottomans are destroying... Oh uh, yeah, but the Russians haven't, like, sent in all their men. There we go. Now, there, there's a good army. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, th there we go. Yeah, they're starting to crush everywhere in Europe. This is like, this is like, oh my goodness, France is invading, is invading the UK. This is like, oh, mate, okay, this army cut down the size. I actually don't need to cut down the size part. Uh, Ottomans, can I negotiate? No, I can't. So, yeah, most likely I probably won't get anything out of this war. That kind of stinks. But the good thing is, is that if I disobey some treaties and quickly build up some men, I could probably defeat the, the, uh, what are their names? The, uh, Ottomans fairly single-handedly, because I don't think they would have anything, like, to fight me with, so that'd be good. 
Except my capital, the only place I can actually build soldiers, is under siege. But, the good thing is, there we go. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. I thought for a moment that, that the European powers would not think of their little ally of Greece. Thank goodness they are nice people. Okay. Uh, form an alliance with my friends again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were, you know, we just had like a little quarrel there. A quarrel there. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. We're, we're back to being buds. Yeah, we're like high-fiving British everywhere. You know, showing that true uh, grit of Greece, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, we got more land. Which means I probably should build up an army again. Like, seriously, at least try to pretend that I have some value in this world that we live in. Okay. But yeah, I think that ends it for today. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.